We are recording. How's it you? Okay, guys, it's Jar here, and where's the icon? that was sent to us four to eight years ago. We're getting our parcels are half ripped open. What is happening at your at the post office? They said because it's a manufacturing malfunction, fix the machines then. Like I get it, I understand. Machines break down every once in a while, yada yada yada. But I mean, are you telling me that we had to wait almost 10 years to get a single letter we got nothing saying that it was lost in mail. We didn't even know that existed until a week later. I called up my cousin who actually said that because she lives here now. And I was like, guess what? She goes, what? Oh, by the way, I just got your letter. She goes, what do you mean? I'm like, you know the letter you sent about, I don't know, eight to 10 years ago? Yeah. She was in like, what was it? Let's say primary school, like grade four. She's graduating year 12 this year. I just think that, all this, all this post, I know you're gonna get a lot of hate or whatever, but I'm just saying, thank you for delivering our parcels, eventually. But if the thing is broken, 
or bent out of place. Like you can see the bending mark. It's supposed to be dead straight, but you can see where it's been bent because there's all these like lines and wrinkles to show it's been bent. I'm like, do you think this is normal? And they're like, oh, it might be because it wasn't packaged properly. It was wrapped in foam, like foam, foam, plastic bag, paper bag, and a cardboard box, and you put it in a plastic bag. That's five layers worth of protection, and you're telling me it's not protected? I'm sorry, look, I apologize. I'm not trying to get mad or anything. I just think that it's getting to the stage where it's not even snail mail anymore. It's just like it's almost like the f the factory had like closed down for two years and then started back up again and is now sending all of our stuff. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, oh, it's getting beyond a joke. And like, for you um, non Aussies around the world. Our mail is getting absolutely ridiculously slow. And I mean, no, 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 it doesn't take a week. It takes a freaking year. All this post is one of the slowest posts in the world. Why? What makes a post office so slow? I would like to know. I'd love to go visit one of the factories that, you know, sends all the parcels and see what makes them so slow. They need to have an undercover bus, thank you, because it's so goddamn slow. Like, it's getting me on a joke right now. It'd be like me sending you, right? So let's say I tried to send something out to one of my fans, right? Fans. Ugh, hate the word. Let's say I wanted to send something out to one of my lovely siblings, right? So let's say it's this book, right? It's just my math book. But let's say I wanted to send you this because it has um, a letter that I wrote to you, right? And some couple of other exclusive things, like a script that is coming out soon or like something signed and pictures and la da da da. So I'm gonna send it to you, right? No. What about it not? Because it would just be easier if I fly over to your country, give it to you personally, and fly all the way back, and then I could take a vacation for three years, and then it would probably, my postage would probably get there. Like, why? Ugh. Look guys, you know I'm optimistic, you guys know that I'm a very positive person, but sometimes this girl's gonna have some negativity and it's coming right now because I hate it. Thank God that my friend's like present did not get ruined because I got my friend a birthday present online. And if that got ruined, I would have called up the post office and been like, look, you guys owe me $100 for both packages that you destroyed. You're going to send that to me in check and you're going to pay for my two packages you destroyed. Simple as that. Because no way that that thing, this is pure metal by the way, like as a metal. You're telling me that it got bent in half because of a machine? You're telling me this metal got bent in half because you guys didn't even look in the package that, hmm, it's ripped in half, let's just put a, a bag over it. That's not how it works. You see it's broken, you should do the correct thing, but mm, maybe we should call the company who was bought, and you can tell because it says on the label, that's half burnt. Okay, not only is my package soaked, not only is it ripped in half, the label on it is burnt. Like a fire happened in the post office, and then they decide to spray every single thing with water. Are you freaking insane? And I'm not gonna end on a happy note like, oh, but you know, I'm still gonna keep doing stuff from them, la la la. I have to use the postal system, because if I don't, I'm never gonna get anything. So, you know what? Ozpost, send me all the mean tweets and mean everything you want. But what I'm saying is, is that I think that you should at least call us up and be like, hey, look, your package is broken. You know, we're more than happy to fix it. Just tell us how you'd like it to be fixed. And I'd be like, oh cool, thank you for telling me. Um, how broken is it? Is it just bent out of place or whatever? And they'd be like, mm, yeah, it, it's a bit at, bent out of place. You know, what would you like us to do? And then be like, mm, yeah, um, you blah, 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 blah. Or even just look, 
um, hi, you know, my name's blah. You ordered something from this address. I just wanted to say that it may become broken because there was an accident at the factory where a fire went off and your package might be a little bit burnt and a little bit bent. We apologize. I would have been, you know what, cool, that's fine. No big deal, thank you for calling me, that's all I needed. But no, you send me a letter that says, oh, apologies, if you have something wrong with this, please call this number. I'm like, what are you going to say? I'm like, look, my package is bent in half and what are you going to do? Cool. What do you want us to do about it? I'd be like, freaking pay for it. And it sucks, because I need to, like, I don't need to buy stuff off the internet, but... What about if family from out of state sends me something? What about if families from, you know, different countries send me something? You know, what if I want to send my uncle from a different country? I'm not going to get it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And drop says in the next video. Sock has not this video for a very hug. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, the phone's ringing. Gotta go.